Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an error that says the application was unable to start correctly and you're getting a 0xc0000142 error. So, we're going to go over a couple ways to hopefully resolve it. So, first thing I would suggest would be to open up the start menu, type in whatever program you're having the issue with. So, in my case, let's just say it's CCleaner. You want to right click on it and then left click on open file location now there should be a shortcut file type listed in here that would be auto directed from the start menu if you were to search it up you want to right click on this shortcut here and then left click on properties now you want to left click on the compatibility tab and you want to select run this program in compatibility mode 4 I was suggesting Windows 7 or Windows 8 generally speaking However, you can try earlier versions of Windows as well, and you can play around with it until you find one that perhaps works. If you have any shortcuts on your desktop, you're going to have to do them independently. So if you have a star menu search as well as a desktop icon, you're going to have to do it twice. Or you can just copy the shortcut out of here once you've made the change and then replace anything on your desktop or taskbar with that. So pretty straightforward on that end. So you can close out of here. We we'll suggest restarting your computer as well. Hopefully, that's been able to resolve the problem. Another thing you can try would be to open up the registry. So, open up the start menu, type in reg edit. Most match should come back with registry editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now, before you ever do anything in the registry, I would suggest creating a backup. So, if you're unfamiliar with how to do it, just left click on the file tab up the top left one time, left click on export, save it to a convenient place on your computer, preferably like a desktop or an external media source, you'll be able to easily retrieve it in the event you ever had to roll back your registry. And for file name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you're creating the backup. Make sure export range is selected to all, and then you just would left click on save, and then if you ever wanted to import the registry back in, just do File, Import. Locate the backup registry keys. Locate the backup of the registry and then left click on Open. So pretty straightforward. So once you've done that, you want to go ahead and expand the HK Local Machine folder. So either double click on HK Local Machine or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Then you want to do the same thing for the software folder. Now same thing for Microsoft, so expand Microsoft. I'm going to drag this over a little bit. Now you want to go down to Windows NT. Expand that one as well. Expand current version. And now you want to look for the Windows folder right here. Just left click on that one time. And you can follow along with the path up at the top of this registry editor window. So if you want to pause the video, rewatch it, slow down the speed, whatever you want to do, you can clearly see where we are based on the path up at the top of this window here. So anyway, now that we are here, on the right side, you're going to look for a D word value that says load app, I-N-I-T underscore D-L-L-S. You can see that right here. Double click on it. You want to make sure value data is set to zero. So if it's one or two or three, make sure it's set to zero. So just type the number zero in here. Don't spell it out. Base should be set to hexadecimal, left click on OK. Once you're done with that, close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.